I'm Quinn Phillips. Global Edmonton is proud to partner with Golden Bears and Pandas Athletics. Check out the top five plays of the week. First serve for Ryan. Oh, it's an awesome rally. Yeah, I thought that was a good rally by both teams. By both teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the longest rally we've had so far. Some nice net play on the part of both teams. However, Aaron Arizyuk needs one ace at some point during this match to take over the single season ace record. There it is. 17-8, Alberta up here. Corey White back at the line, and she had quite the run in set number one. Arizyuk looking for Hogg. Not the cleanest quick attack we've seen, but it definitely worked. Found some space. Yep. Again, that's that connection with Hogg and, and Arizyuk that you know, has been working well for the Pandas this year. Yeah, a little bit. Slower pace. Yeah, team, but... so was I, but... A little bit different than the first time we saw them too. Speaking of speed, here's Olenek. In alone, head, Olenek has a chance, scores! A fantastic pass here from Amy Boucher to set it up and then strength from Hannah Olenek cutting outside, keeping the puck on her backhand. And the quick backhand forehand move five hole by Jane Kish. Fantastic quick strike offense from the Pandas and they jump out to the one nothing lead. One point away from third place here in Canada West. Schubert with the dig, Brisbane the set, McMullen the kill! Alex McMullen finds the back line. The Alberta Golden Bears win this match in four sets. 25-18 the score here in set number four. And they will clinch third place in Canada West and set up a quarterfinal next weekend right here at the Savile Centre against the Calgary Dinos. Kelly looking inbound, he finds Knutson. Uh, nice play call there by the Bears as Knutson throws it down. What a play call there by Alberta and Cole Knutson just throws it down and the Bears lead back up to 27. So enough of this layup nonsense. 